What's going on guys? I'm Jeff Carpenter with Ready Light Media. I'm in the studio today with my friend Cheryl Brem and we are balancing strobes with constant light. You might see where people balance strobes with natural light, but we're actually just bringing that into the studio. Uh, we've got this ring light that she brought with her to do her makeup. So I was like, yeah, let's kind of play around with it. So we actually put that in front of her. I did an image a while back where I put the ring light behind the subject, but with this one, we're bringing it in front of her. And then my thought is to actually uh, extend the edges of the pure white that the ring light creates uh, in post and kind of have just a circle where she's kind of in that frame and then extend the edges in post production. Uh, this other lights we got going on is we have a Savage Edge Lit Pro. It's just a hair light, rim light kind of situation. And then in the back, back there, I don't know if you can see it, but we've got a uh, another Savage Edge Lit Pro with a pink gel that I just taped onto it. Uh, and that's creating kind of a pink background. I, I shot a little bit before and I was like, yeah, I think it could use a little bit of color. And since we're, uh, you know, just shooting with, I just wanted to use one strobe. We've got the Westcott FJ400 with the Joel Grimes Switch Beauty Dish. Uh, that's just kind of overhead with the grid creating just kind of some beauty lighting. And then we're framing her up with that ring light. So one thing to keep in mind when we're shooting uh, with constant lights paired with strobes and also incorporating a gel is that you want to start from the back forward. So I want, I started with the gel in the background uh, and I got that exposure and I had to kind of up the ISO quite a bit because the gel on that, on that constant light, it just wasn't uh, quite punching through as much as I wanted to. So we started with that and then we brought everything in. So I'm at ISO 800. So you might wonder why I'm shooting at ISO 800 in a studio. That's because I wanted to get the, uh, the constant lights where I wanted them and then I wanted a shutter speed that wasn't too slow. So I'm at a hundredth of a second, which is on a tripod, I guess it's totally fine. Uh, so we kind of did that and then we basically brought the strobe in and just to add a little bit of a pop. And what we're doing is we're just going and she's just kind of posing and doing her thing. And one thing I'm gonna have her do is come a little bit forward because if she's too far back, what happens is that shadow from the, she gets a shadow from the actual, the key light hitting the, uh, hitting the ring and then creating a shadow on her face. So we just have to be kind of mindful of that. All right guys, thanks for checking out this video. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those in the comment section below. And if you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and follow Ready Light Media and go check out Cheryl Brem as well. I'll see you next time.